What's up you guys, me Tech Reviews back in another video and today I'm going to be talking about the Akara G410 doorbell. I've been using it for a couple weeks now and I'm going to give you my insights of how I feel about it, what the app looks like, what the experience is like, etc. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we have the Akara G410 doorbell. It's pretty easy to install. I didn't record the installation process just because I had issues with my wiring to my previous doorbell. The wire is a little short so it took some time to figure out how to expand those wires and make them a little longer so it can connect because I'd rather hardwire it because this does come with a battery power option and a hardwired option and for the batteries it's about six batteries and the battery life is about four months which isn't very long and there have been reports from the previous Akara doorbell that the battery life was pretty poor so I decided to hardwire it I think it looks a little better as well since it's kind of tacky to have a battery doorbell on top of your old doorbell and having them both work so I kind of figured why not just hardwire it and have one uniform doorbell here and it is a boxy design as you can tell it's pretty big and I do have my Yale smart lock right here so to have like two techie boxes right here is not the best look so hopefully a car will offer a wired only version to maybe slim it down so it has a more aesthetically pleasing look but until then we won't we don't have that right now so this offers a updated field of view it has a 175 degree field of view with a three by four aspect ratio i believe or four by three one of those it comes with dual band wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz for better connectivity you have a hub built into the chime so now the new chime is a hub a zigbee hub a car hub matter hub zigbee i believe zigbee over thread or something like that and so you don't have to buy a separate hub a car hub to connect your car devices if you have a lot of those in your household which is pretty cool obviously the main feature on here if you're in the apple ecosystem or an iphone user apple user this comes with native home kit and uh, supports with home kit secure video meaning you don't have to use their home guard home guardian mm -hmm. subscription or you don't even have to get a micro sd card in the chime box but you will have to do that if you want 24 7 recording through the car app but nonetheless if you have iCloud, icloud plus subscription you can have all your videos uploaded on there and be able to utilize that the only downside is you can get that 2k resolution anymore you will have be downgraded to not even 1080p it's 1200p which i guess is slightly lower than 1080p Nonetheless, the resolution gets downgraded a little bit. This does come with a millimeter wave radar for better accurate detection of human beings and people instead of the pixel based detection on here. So with that, you can only utilize that really in the car app as of right now and HomeKit will still use the basic pixel uh, detection when it comes to figuring out people. This does do a lot of local um, processing with AI and whatnot with local fish recognitions so there are features on here when you see a localized or a facial a face that's recognized it can have a chime on here to personally greet them if you like or into that type of stuff it has facial recognition obviously with a home kit secure video you can either get support or notifications from either or I've noticed in my experience having double notifications is kind of redundant so I went with HomeKit initially, but Akara does recognize things faster. So I kind of have both turned on for now to see which one picks it up faster. I know with Akara it has a lingerer thing on here. So right now it's still saying there's a lingerer in front of the front door, whereas HomeKit won't really do that. It does have that pre, <laughs> I just did it again. It does have that pre-roll 24 seven on here. So uh, I noticed it's able to be seen in the HomeKit secure video and the Akara app. In the Akara app, if you want to view the 24-7 recordings, you do have to go in the Akara app. There is no 24-7 with the HomeKit secure video from what I've noticed. You get two-way audio on here using the HomeKit or the Akara app. You can take snapshots, record, and I'll show the app here in a second. The chime on here has a 95 decibels, which is pretty loud, and you can do your own custom uh, ringtones. However, that will only be heard in the household and not so much when someone rings the doorbell. Um, this does not have HDR, unfortunately, so the clouds and whatnot won't be out of view and the highlights will be kind of blown out. So if that's a big deal to you, then this may not be for you. Um, let's see on here. The temperature on here, it's rated that it can handle. Some people have reported that if it's exposed to direct sunlight, especially with the black color, uh, it does get that temperature warning, and I'm not sure if that means it will shut down and stop working completely, but that is a thing that people have reported before. Uh, this is IPX3 rated, so it's not fully protected from the weather like a doorbell with IP, like say 65. So 
if it rains a lot or if it's not under like a porch like it's under in my house then it may not be the doorbell for you because the elements will eventually wear it down and pretty much destroy it because it doesn't have a full ipx65 weather protection rating on here it is pretty light it's about 1.9 pounds it comes in black and gray micro sd card and the chime what's nice about that actually is if someone were ever to steal your doorbell the micro sd card is still safely inside the chime within your household so you still be able to access your footages on there if you need to access them so let's talk about the app so in the app you can see in my screen recording that sometimes i have to close the app and open it back up to have my doorbell show the settings the signal is strong here the chime is not too far away it's like literally on the other side of the wall so it looks like i have to exit the app and then come back to akara to show you guys what i'm talking about when it comes to using it and whatnot and i want to include this in the video just to show like now i'm not sure if it's because i'm on ios 26 beta but nonetheless okay now you can see the video you can see me you can see the camera so you have options on here. You have a snapshot on here, take a snapshot. You have recording on here to manually record, even though it's already 24 seven recording. You have a way on here for two way calling. So you can do different so voices on here. here. You can do anonymous, which will change your voice on the doorbell. I'm not sure if I can hear it on here. I can hear it on here. I can hear it on here. So I don't hear my voice on here. It's not very loud. I might have to turn up the volume on there, but... Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's very mute. I can't really hear it. So I might have to turn it up. But there's different voices on here. You can do anonymous, robot, clown, and original voice. All this to keep your voice anonymous and keep your privacy. So I might have to turn up the volume on the doorbell because I can't hear it. Hello? Okay. Okay. So now I don't know if you can hear it. So now I don't know if you can hear it. But. But. It's changing my voice. It's changing my voice. Now we have a robot sound. Now we have a robot sound. And now we have a clown sound. And now we have a clown sound. And then back to the original voice. And then back to the original voice. So the speaker on here isn't very loud. So the speaker on here isn't very loud. Unless I talk directly into it. Unless I talk directly into it. Now it's louder. Now it's louder. Hello? Hello? Okay. So I guess I gotta talk into the mic better. Okay. So I guess so I gotta talk into the mic hear me better. Anywho. So there's that. And then you have playback. So here you can just see the 24-7 recording that we have. And all that. I do have an Akara other doorbell as well, so you can see the resolution is at 1200p. You can do picture in picture within the app, I believe. Yeah, so it's within the app. And then we go back. You can do full screen. So this isn't as wide as my old Tapo D225 doorbell, which has a 180 degree field of view. And I would be able to see like where my feet are right now if I had it still, but I don't have it. It's in the backyard right now at the moment since it's scratched. But this is basically the app. You can go to albums, see your screenshots and videos, history event, home live view to see all your cameras that you have for Akara. And you have device settings on here. And this is compatible with Google Home and Alexa, smart things. It's compatible with everything. That's one of the th nice things about Akara. It's compatible with like almost all home systems even home assistant it's got a native support for that as well so you have video settings on here you can put time overlays you can set your ringtones custom ringtones doorbell settings device volume power frequency right now it's using external power mode face management it can recognize faces i don't have this turned on so i don't have that you can link other devices security settings detection settings, face recognition notifications, you can set the sensitivity, you can do linger notifications, which is kind of weird. I don't get the linger. I would rather prefer if it was named something else, maybe like just motion person detection instead of a lingerer. But I get it because sometimes in sketchy places, people will come to your house and just linger in the front, which is fine and whatnot. And then just to show you what it looks like in the HomeKit app, so this is how it looks in HomeKit. Um, it gets a live view, 
and then usually you can see everything else i don't know if it's because i'm screen recording it won't let me show you like the history and how that looks so you have the option to talk on here and it seems louder naturally with uh home kit and the settings on here are pretty native it shows battery loves 100 percent because it's charging you have automations on here when you leave your status notifications it's by default turned off so you have to turn it on and you can people animal vehicle package detection the car app doesn't have package package detection but home kit does which was interesting so you can have all your notifications on here receive notification doorbell buttons pressed so that you can talk through home kit instead of the car app so these are all different options so i'm gonna stop screen recording and see if i can see like the history of everything when i'm using this doorbell so no, there's still no history. That's, that's weird. All right, in this clip, I would just like to showcase notification speed. So I didn't include that. So we stepped in front of the camera. So it took about three seconds, maybe five seconds for it to throw up a notification. Nothing from the Akara app. Now the Akara app, like 15 seconds. And I think it's because it was trying to process the face. So let's tell us how fast the doorbell notification is on here. It's pretty fast. No notification from HomeKit yet. So that took a while, maybe because it's processing the facial recognition, but that was a long time between ringing the doorbell for HomeKit. So let's try it with facial recognitions turned off for both. Just for reference, I want to see how quickly the tap of a doorbell reacts to me being outside. Ocean detected. That was pretty fast. It was like instant. No delay. Now if I click on the doorbell. One second I get a notification. That's pretty fast compared it to Akara. I'll give Akara one more shot though. All right, so I'm gonna come around the corner from the garage and see what that does. Looks so like we have a lingerer detected. And I'm, I'm not even, I'm stopping and walking. Still nothing from HomeKit. Still nothing from HomeKit. Face detected. Still nothing from HomeKit. Try the doorbell one more time. Okay, that was instant. Still nothing from HomeKit. Yeah, that's too long of a delay. I don't like that at all. And signal's fine. I mean, it 
You can see the signal on here is good. It's strong. So now I'm not sure if it's a signal from my Apple TV, which is not too far from the doorbell and the chime, so I don't know. Don't like that. So anyway, that is the Akara G410 doorbell. Leave a comment below what you think about the doorbell. If you have the doorbell, what your experiences are like. So far, I've enjoyed the experience, the HomeKit integration. I am a little sad that it doesn't have the 180 degree field of view. I wish it had that so I can see what's below me and have like better package detection and just native package detection in general. So to combat that, I have one of my Tapo cameras over here on the connected to the house to see the packages which kind of like is a double whammy. It's kind of like redundant to have two cameras, but I do like the HomeKit integration. That's why I kind of want to keep it and not get another Tapo doorbell. The only reason why I'm replacing this is because my Tapo fell and the lens got scratched and then this came out at the same time. So I figured why not give a car another shot because the previous G4 had that 16 by nine point of view. And I didn't like it. I really couldn't see anything. There was no point the way my house is set up. So. But this Akara is very sensitive, like upon setting up, I did like lay it down on this little brick right here and it kind of left a little scratch on the lens, but not so much to where it affects the video quality, like the Tapo when it got scratched. But other than that, it's a decent device. It's big. I wish it was smaller. If they made a wired slimmer one, I definitely would cop that. But yeah, leave a comment below if this video was helpful for you. I know I didn't include installation, and I do prefer watching videos that include the installation, but nonetheless, it's pretty simple. You just kind of connect the faceplate on here, measure it, screw it in, place it in, and then that's that. It's pretty easy, and if you want to hardwire it, I did use like my older ring cables with like the little U-shaped thing to connect it to the terminals, and then that was that. So yeah, if this video is helpful, leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.